I am a brutally honest, mature beauty blogger. Sometimes I get in trouble because I really like to tell it like it is. Whether I get things in PR or not, I will make sure that you know that, but I also make sure that you know the real truth about it, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. So these are the things that I purchased. Well, there is actually one thing I did get in PR here, but most of these I purchased myself and I just really, wish I had saved my money. So I'm trying to get you guys to save your money if you can. So we're gonna get right into the things that I really just did not like in the month of April. All right, so let's do start with the thing that came from PR and it's from number seven. It's the Airbrush Away Pore Minimizing Primer. This actually has a fantastic texture and it reminds me almost identical of the Hourglass Veil Primer the texture of it is so close to it just like the angel veil from nyx but what i don't like about it and i don't know whether i just got an old tube or what the deal is it smells like it's gone bad and every time i put it on i'm like what is with that it almost smells like you know when you get an old rag and you know that you need to bleach that thing that's what it smells like and so i just feel like i I couldn't do it I, I don't care if i had to put it on for five seconds and then the smell went away i couldn't do it but the texture is so good. So I'm wondering, I'm hoping that I just got one that was old and that the, the other ones aren't like that. If any of you guys have, have used this and you feel like it's a really good one and you don't have that fragrance, will you please let me know because I'd be happy to go purchase it myself. They did send this one to me, but I would be happy to go repurchase it myself and you know try it because it is a lovely primer as far as how it just glides across the skin. So yeah, I could not handle the smell and I don't think it's good to put that kind of stuff on your skin anyway. I have three foundations that were such huge fails for me. Now, the first two are, are such huge fails because of the way they went on and how thick they were. This one is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation. I did report on this earlier. I did get this one from Octoly two things, sorry, I got NPR, but I did get this one from Octoly quite a long time ago and I talked about it before. This is not a good foundation if you are dry skin, mature skin, and you don't need a very full coverage foundation. It just, it looked terrible going on. It was so thick and it just felt really super heavy on my skin and, I'm, and did not wear well either. The color was okay. Color on both of these was okay actually. Um, but it says 24 hour wear. I, I believe that these are very long wearing. That's what they're going for. And they're going for that ultimate high coverage. But that look right now is just, most people aren't going for that. Most people are going for a more natural look on their skin to where a little bit of their skin shows through, but they get really good coverage that evens out. This just goes off. It goes a lot on a lot like the all nighter from Urban Decay, which I used to love before I went through menopause. So maybe I would have loved this before I went through menopause too. But this one is from Smashbox uh, Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. They're both 24 hours, they're both full coverage, they're both very thick, they're both, both very cakey, and they both do not work well on my mature dry skin. So wear time on it too wasn't that great because it got patchy really quickly. So I don't know whether it's that I have dry skin whether it's menopause, whatever it is, it didn't work. And then this one right here is from Doll 10 and this is their foundation and this is their anti-stress skin protector, skin perfector, excuse me. This is in light. Um, I was so bummed about this, you guys, because I had heard so many people talk about Doll 10 and how nice it is. This, first of all, was a super duper yellow, yellow color. Let's see if we can get to see that. Super duper yellow color. So. She doesn't have a huge shade range where you, you can go in and you can go, okay, I want light neutral, not light warm, which is what this is. So the shade range was not good at all. And then we had the fact that it went on too thick again, but the coverage was terrible. It did not cover at all. And talk about patchy. Oh my goodness. It, it got so patchy so quickly. So I was just really disappointed in that because I did purchase a whole, the whole entire, as much as I could of the doll 10 makeup because I was really intrigued. I, I watched it, I can't remember whether I watched it on HSN or QVC, I think it was HSN. And I watched it and I was so intrigued with all of her products and the way she talked about her products, I'm like, that sounds really great. So as I got them, I'm just, I'm not that happy with them. I'm still trying a few of the other ones. All right, but and then I was really excited to see Zoeva come out 
with their authentic skin perfecting concealer. I love their foundation for my dry mature skin and for what I need, for what I want for coverage, for what I want for the finish, wear time, all that, fantastic. This doesn't deliver like that one does. It's an okay color. It's actually quite a good color. It's very neutral. Um, I don't know what I picked. I'll make sure I put it up on the screen, but it's very neutral. But the problem is, is that it just, it got super patchy on my really bad uh, dark circles. It did turn a little bit weird and a little bit separated and a little bit patchy. I, you know, I'm pretty picky about my concealers because I have a problem there anyway. There's not very many concealers that I can wear, even, you know, drugstore high end. And so I was excited to be able to try one that was more high end because, you know, usually I stick with drugstore because I want the cost effectiveness of it. But this wasn't that great and I was really disappointed in it. And then from Stila during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, I did get their brown um, eye liquid eyeliner. I actually absolutely love their black, but this one was just a little bit too light. So I use these to line my lash line so that my lashes look longer. Um, and if I put this brown in there, it actually kind of makes my lash line look a little bit reddish, which is kind of weird. So I'm not super happy with this color, but I will tell you guys that I do love the black one and I actually really like the navy one too. So maybe this was just about color. This is a, the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and it, does, it doesn't budge. It's really good as far as that goes. But the brown color really disappointed me and I wish that I had gotten it into a different color. And then the balm was having 50% off. So I ordered quite a few products from them. Um, I have some that I really liked. You can see those in my monthly favorites, but I have some that I really didn't like. And the first one that I really didn't like was the anti-orange bronzer, Take Home the Bronze. This one says Thomas on it. And so this is supposed to be anti-orange, but you guys think this is the orangest bronzer I think I've ever seen. It is so, so orange. It is, it's beyond orange. And I'm like, anti-orange bronzer, how can you advertise it like that? And then somebody put it on their skin and that's all it is, is orange. And I was so disappointed in that because that is the only reason that I bought it was because it said anti-orange. So yeah, very disappointed in that one. And then I heard, had heard a lot about this highlighter. It's the Mary Luminizer. And I was really excited to get this one. Um, and I don't mind the texture on it. The texture is quite nice. The problem was that it really just wore off really, really quickly. I keep having this hair fall down, drive me crazy. And then as I was trying to build it up, it started to look orange like the bronzer. So it wasn't a good color for me. It wore off a little bit quicker than I wanted it to. I was just kind of disappointed. So there were a few products from the balm that I am disappointed in. And to, honestly, you guys, I probably won't purchase from the balm again, just because of the few products I did weren't products that I could just say, okay, well, these were great. You know, I, I love them. I fell in love with them. It wasn't like that. Okay. The next one I really wanted to make sure that I told you guys about because I have raved over and over again about the LA Girl Pro uh, palettes in the 16 pan palettes. These colors are fantastic and they're beautiful. But this latest one that they did, and uh, this one is the Pro Artistry. I think the other one is the Pro Mastery. And I've worked with all of those other ones a lot. And those ones are really good. But this one I was working with today because I wanted to do a look out of it for you guys today. I ended up taking it off and I'll tell you why. Because this color right here, this color right here, and this color right here are so chunky. And they have, it's not that they have glitter in it because that doesn't bother me. But the chunkiness of them, there's major fallout. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see this or not, but it's gonna fall all over my mirror as I'm rubbing my fingers together. Major fallout. And then when you put them on your eyes, you get so much, I can't, it's just so weird. It's just so weird because all their other palettes aren't like that. So I even tried like wetting my brush, different things. So here's the thing. I'm not gonna get rid of this palette because all the colors in here, except for the ones that are the high metallic colors. So it's this one. So it's the gold, the bronze, the white, there's a peach in here, and then there is this silver in here. So there's about five colors in here aren't usable to me because they're just not great. But the other colors in here, they're beautiful and they work so well on my eyes and I love them. So I am gonna keep this and continue to work with the other ones. I might declutter it at some point. 
um, just because I love the mattes in these. They're fantastic. But I would actually say steer clear of this because normally these these palettes from LA Girl that are going like this, the, the 16 pan palettes, they go across your eyelids. The high, high shimmers go across my mature eyelids that are a little bit crepey and wrinkly and they're just like butter. And I can put a little bit of spray on there, my finger, and just wipe it across there all day long, last, no fallout, just beautiful, but not this baby. It is just such a disappointment. I wanted to make sure that I told you about that because I had spoken about it before and wanted to make sure that you knew that most of those in there were chunky and that they weren't working for me at all. So that is it for today's video as far as what I wished I'd saved my money on and not repurchased. Very disappointing products to me. I hope that you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. Please give, please give this video a thumbs please up. Please take care of yourselves. Please stay sanitized, stay safe. I love you and I'll see you all in my very next video. Bye guys.